Yo, 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 what is good, people? Welcome back to another episode of the Dream Chasers career mode on FIFA 23. You already know what time it is. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload. And without further ado, let's jump straight into today's episode. If you missed the last episode, it's the January transfer window. Today, we're at deadline day. I asked us to leave comments for any last minute signings we could go and do. You can see there we have 27 million as our current budget, and we might make another signing in this video before we get to the end of deadline day but first we do have a game against Watford which we need to play before we get to that last 10 hours of deadline day and to start this episode I wanted to do some comments it's been a while since I put up some comments in the videos like I say I reply and see and read every single comment but it's been a while since I've actually um, replied to some of the comments or put them in the videos I should say I reply to, to most of the comments but it's been a while since we put them in the video so first comments I wanted to bring up comes from Stonks he said amazing episode as always appreciate it mate love the new sign and that's right we do have some new signings in the squad i don't want to show you the team actually because i've made some changes but i'll show you that in a minute but yeah we've made some new signings to the squad over this month of january to try and boost up our team because currently we're only sat 13th in the league uh, and we want to try and get as many points as we can with that minus three goal difference we need to try and improve that but yeah new signings absolutely flying stonks also said can't wait for the player career mode episodes that is right boys we are starting a player career mode very soon and i have an interesting concept sort of ties into what we've done on this career mode so far um, I don't want to give out too many hints before we do start it but um, I'll give you two hints Ono Masaki and Hashimoto Yuto that is the only thing I will say there's the little teaser for the player career mode that we are going to get into but um, yeah player career mode coming soon not too sure when I'm going to start it best way to find out is just keep checking the channel we upload the uh, manager career mode Mondays Wednesdays and Fridays just turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload when we drop and then you will be able to catch the player career mode but it's going to be very fun I've got a big plan for the player career mode and hopefully it lasts as long as this uh, career mode has speaking of today is episode 50 of this career mode halfway to episode 100 so that's massive a uh, shout out to everyone who's been here from the start and shout out to everyone who's came recently i really do appreciate everyone's support on this series it keeps me motivated to keep going and like i say let's get back to some more comments Blue Juice left a comment saying, was so excited when I saw this notification pop up. The future is bright and it sure is. Like in the last episode, we put faith in our youth players, Ono Masaki, especially the Japanese right midfielder. He is sensational. We've got our new striker, new players on the bench. The, putting faith in the youth, the future is bright for RDC World for sure. But Blue Juice left a comment saying, you need a new centre-back. Also try sending a scout out for a goalkeeper or sign Noya for backup. And um, right now, we do have, in fact, let me go back to the old squad. Here's how our team normally looks. In goal, we do have Wojciech Szczesny's regen. Um, and he's a bit dodgy. In game, he just feels weird. But he's only 19 years old and 79 overall. So I'm hoping that his overall just flies up really quick and he starts performing better. Um, we do need a centre-back. We will discuss that a bit further. Right now, we have, of course, um, Silva and we do have Canales. Blue Juice wasn't the only one who left that comment. We also had Handler, who said you need center, more centre-backs and full-backs. And then Godspeed plays left a comment saying, if you want a defender, why not check out Branthwaite? You were impressed by him when you played against him. Could be a bargain if you have the cash left. Um, and I don't want to sign an Everton player. I'll be honest, I'm that bitter. I don't want to sign anyone from Everton, even though we signed Ronaldo, who I guess is United. But still, I just don't want to sign any Everton players, bro. Everton stink. We don't want to put the disease in our... No, that's, that's so childish. I'm sorry, I'll take that back. But yeah, I just... I, I don't know. I'm I'm not looking to sign a centre back um, apart from Gavardiol, but Gavardiol is way too expensive, so we're going to have to wait till next season for him. But like people have mentioned, we don't really have much options at the back here. We have Canales and Silva as our centre backs. We do have Billy Cairns on the bench, who is very low rated, but I am putting faith in this guy he, that he's going to be special once he does hit his potential. Um, he can play as centre back if we need to, but then as the full backs, if one of them gets injured, um, say Mina gets injured, we could always just put Brown to right back. He can play there. Both uh, fullbacks, I don't mind swapping sides. And also, we do have this player, which I feel like a lot of people forget about. Flavio Nazzinho. He's out on loan at the minute at Ajax. He's gone plus one overall, 75 rated. Currently the same rating as Theon Greyjoy there um, at left back. So... If we do need to, we can always recall Nadzinho from loan um, and just bring him back into the squad and play him. We also do have uh, German Carrillo out on loan, Hugo Rodriguez out on loan, and Fabrizio Cabrera also out on loan, as well as Ed Roberts, who's gone plus four since he's been out on loan. So if we do need a fullback, we can always just recall some of these guys um, or a centre-back. We can just recall them from loan. So right now, I'm not looking to spend any money on a centre-back and fullback, and that's why uh, we haven't gone and signed anyone. Yeah, that, I just wanted to give you a little update on 
on my thinking with that position there. There was a big debate I brought up in the last episode as well about giving the number seven shirt to this guy right here, Marcio Barbosa. With him being Cristiano Ronaldo's regen, I did want him to get that number seven so he could be CR7. But our current number seven, boys, if you don't know, is this guy right here, Morgan Lee. And you know how special of a player this guy is? This guy left a comment saying, nah, bro, give seven back to Lee. He's our homegrown talent. He's our Phil Foden. L Lee has been number seven since the start of the career mode. And I think that's his number. As much as we want to see CR7, it still just wouldn't work because it's MB. Do you know what I mean? So with Reggie Field being out of the squad and not playing now, I think we're going to change CR7. We are going to change his kit number. And instead of being CR7, he's going to be MB9. MB9's got a ring to it, if you ask me, boys. MB9, CR7, I, I like it. You know, Reggie Field goes to number five. I don't like that. Um, he can take Barbosa's kit number, which was number 15. But yeah, now we've got MB9. We can't change his uh, celebration. I did look for that in the settings. You can't change players' celebrations, but um, we will try and learn the C celebration to do that every time he scores. But for now, it's going to be MB9. Apologies to everyone who wanted number seven, but we've got to leave Morgan Lee with that number. He's earned it. The last comment comes from E. He said, sign Frank Ribery's regen since he can play centre forward and striker and sort you out for attack and backup. Now, we do have attack and backup uh, that we did sign in the last episode. Of course, we have Balogun, who is just an out and out striker. Uh, and we do have Andreas, who can play on the wing, up front or in cam slash uh, centre forward. Both... I am very tempted to go and buy Ribery's regen, bro. If we check him out here, his name is Aaron Robin, centre forward, uh, striker, and Cam. He only costs 10 million, 20 years old, 77 overall. It is Frank Ribery's regen. He's got very nice physical stats, um, and I'm sure he'd be good on the ball. Only five foot six, medium low work rates, five star weak and four star skills. Looks like a great player, but the only problem with this guy is that he doesn't really have much potential. As you can see, he's only at the club since. Um, so unless we signed him and tried to do the loan glitch or something on him and um, which isn't really ideal i just want a player to come in and do the job but frank ribery is a player that i do respect a lot and i have a lot of memories with that guy from fifa like i mentioned with this guy's name being aaron robin reminds me of iron robin who used to play on the opposite wing to ribery and having those two in your ultimate team back in the day was an absolute joy so just for nostalgia's sake I think we're going to go ahead and sign Robin right here because he's only 10 million. He'll probably just sit on the bench, might get a bit of game time coming in here and there. Cup games, it just gives us a bit more extra rotation. As for his wage, he's once 15 grand a signing bonus and an appearance fee. And for the sake of the video, I'm just going to accept it. No messing about there. Um, and hopefully with that signing bonus, he does go and get a haircut. But it looks like he hasn't. And that suit is tiny. That blazer is way too small for this guy. I wonder what his strength is. And he is... Bro, do you know what I've realised? Yeah. His head is huge. Look how small his body is compared to his head. Yo. Yo, his head's shaped like a McDonald's chicken nugget, bro. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> oh, five foot six this guy is as well. Um, at least we didn't say, see no players in the rundies. Um, that normally happens when we get a new sign. And but there he is next to Cash Money Mark, who makes him look like a dwarf. Yo, Aaron Robin, welcome to the club, aka Frank Ribery. Um, so we're probably just going to keep calling him Ribery um, for that sake. A star rating on the sign and a nice deadline day sign and um, there. Now, I mentioned there was a new squad I wanted to show off. Um, something I will try maybe for the first game of the episode and see if it works but we currently play the 4-4-1-1 attack formation um, and it's working for us but I thought you know what let's spice it up a little bit new formation here we go 4-3-2-1 I used to love this formation on Ultimate Team back in the day and I thought in this formation here we go forward very well but we are exposed to the back Rabiger and Hashimoto they are great players box to box but Sometimes they just get caught out a little bit. So I thought, let's find a formation with more players in the midfield centrally. So this formation here, we bring in Juric on that left centre mid spot. Um, of course, Rakitic's regen. Uh, we still have three players in the attack. Elliot, Lee, Barbosa, great players. So I think this formation might work very nice for us. But of course, that does mean players like Ono Masaki, Andreas, Tommy Bailey, Robin, even Balogun aren't in the starting eleven. So it's unfortunate to see, especially Ono Masaki, who's been playing insane recently, which is why I don't really want to drop him. Um, and I do want to try and keep Ono Masaki in the squad uh, somehow. But we might play him instead of Elliot. I'm not too sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. 
Or we could drop Elliot to that left centre mid where Joric is and then play Ono on the right wing. But right now with Ono Masaki, we are training his weak foot to be five star. And then I think after that, we're going to go um, and train him as a wide midfielder to try and boost up his uh, attack and work rate. Because I know this is only low. Um, but yeah, as, as in terms of training another position, I don't really want to focus on that right now. See, right wing takes 17 weeks, centre forward takes 23. So I'm not really looking to do that, even Cam taking 17. Don't know why it's taken so long for this guy to train because he has potential to be special, which means it should be like huge, you know? But um, he's only 17 still on Omasaki. What a player. He's 17, bro. That's crazy. What a player he's going to be. But um, to start this episode, we are going to use the new formation against Wofford with all the comments transfers and everything out of the way let's jump into this game against Wofford let's go this is our Wofford lineup five at the back formation hopefully our new formation can um, help us break that down always hard to break down a five back but let's go a big day for the manager it is his 200th game in charge will he mark it with a victory next on EA TV wow what a milestone that is for cash money mark 200 games as the manager of the Dream Chasers, aka the RDC World. 200 games in our 50th episode. It's meant to be. Let's go. Oh, that just stinks. That defending from me stinks, but still, that should never, ever go in. I don't care who you are. Like, that should never go in. How is the keeper allowing that to happen? Antonio Silva just stepped away. I don't know why he did that either. That was weird. Bro, it's literally right through the keeper's hand. What I, what game am I playing right now? What even is this? Nice play. Out wide, Canales. Into Theon. I just feel like I've got no support. Come on. Oh, great pass. Barbosa. Look down the wing for Theon. Great recovery. What in that lead? Oh, my God. Watford are just a, a pace ahead of us right now. Literally, they've just got a step on us everywhere we go. Well then, Silva. Come on, counter-attack. Hashimoto. Yeah, we've had no threat going forward so far. And just the press. Oh, what is that? Keeper. That's going to be two. Wow, we're getting picked apart by Wofford. They stink as well. I swear they're the last in the league. Lad, we are getting battered here. This new formation is not working out so far. I've not had a single attack and threat yet. <laughs> nah, bro, I feel like I'm playing on ultimate difficulty or something. With their sliders on Max and our sliders on Min. What is this? Well, in Rabija, come on. Rabija, here we go. Barbosa over the top. Lee. Oh, it's Elliot actually on this wing. And we just can't do anything. Wow, bro, come on. Big tackle, Silva. Well, in Lee. Come on. Juric. Inside Barbosa. That just stinks. Bro, there's such a disconnect in this formation between the centre mids and the attackers. What the hell? Antonio Silva, what a challenge. That's a ridiculous tackle right there. That saved it from being 3 0. Yeah, I've made a mistake with this formation, boys. There's definitely a disconnect between the midfield and the attack. This just stinks so far. We need to try and get the wingers more in play, but they're just not doing anything right now. Here's Elliot out wide. Hashimoto in the box. Nice ball. Barbosa. Oh, he just missed the header. No way. Well then, Joric, come on. Come on, Joric. Nice play. Rabija, overlap. Elliot. Oh, why have I done that? I should have gone for the shot. I saw the sweaty in the middle, though. Well, in Canales, what a leap that is. Christ. See, where's the winger? Oh, great play. Barbosa, drill it across. Oh, come on. Hey, boys, we're getting somewhere. I'm getting used to it now. Finding the space, finding the lanes to attack into. I'm switching it up, boys. The formation, like we tried something new. It's not working, though. Tactical masterclass to bring us back into the game. We're going narrow formation. We're going Rabija in the DM. Hashimoto out wide with Juric. Lee and Cam. Um, Elliot and Barbosa up top. Let's go. Oh, Tottenham signed Florian Verts. That's a great signing. I'm going to bring Balogun on for Elliot. And I'm going to bring on um, Andreas for Lee in the Cam. I just hate how we're playing right now. Well then, Hashimoto. Andreas, here we go. Here we go, boys. There's Juric. Inside, Barbosa. Andreas, let's get the play going. Hashimoto, inside. Andreas, overlap. Overlap. Andreas. Oh, what a block. Big Ed Canales. Hashimoto again. Well in, Andreas. Well in, Andreas. He's played through Ronaldo. What can we do with it, Ronaldo? Cutting back the defenders. Just, bro, they just glued to you like a magnet. 
I'm making another uh, formation change because I just have this wrong, boys. I have it all wrong. This is how we're going to finish the game off. I don't know why Hashimoto's on a minus seven. Um, there we go. Yeah, this is how we're going to finish the game off. And, oh, come on. Come on. I've just got this all wrong tactically, literally. Oh, no, Master Key's on. Can he save the game for us? Here's Andreas. Can he save the game for us? Into Ronaldo. Bad first touch again. Come on. Out wide. Mina. Mina's got Ono on the overlap. This backer at left back has had a game of his life. I'm telling you. Come on. The left back's out of position. Just run it. Rabage, run it. Give us the option inside. Ronaldo. He's gave us it. Come on. Andreas. He's there. What is that link up play, Ronaldo? Come on, son. I put faith in you this game, lad, and you've stunk. Well, then, Ono. I should have started Ono Masaki. He's been the only player in the last few games that's been insane. Why would I drop him? Well, then, Andreas. Oh, it was Antonio Silva, actually. Oh, no, here he is. Ball inside. Big ball. We've got late runners. Andreas. Balogun on the overlap, taking the defender. Andreas from outside the box on his weak foot. That stinks. So That's going to be, yeah, game over. Absolute stinker of a game, boys. I've got to hold my hands up and say I got it completely wrong there. That was just poor from me. Poor team selection. That formation just wasn't good enough to beat this five back. Yeah, I got it completely wrong. Moise Keane, who scored against us twice for Leicester, has moved to Inter Milan for 76 million. That's a huge transfer. And there's that Florian Verde's transfer confirmed as well. 117 million. That's insane. Salah's also gone to Barca. This deadline day is crazy. Manchester United is looking to offer Domenico Berardi as part of a swap deal with Mina, plus 1.65 million. What? That's a crazy transfer. That is a crazy transfer. Berardi, last time we played United, um, he scored a hat-trick against us, I believe. Let's check out what he's saying. I'm sure he's old, though. I'm sure he's very old. Domenico Berardi, yeah, 31 years old, only 84 rated, has that special something. Maybe if this was two seasons ago, I would have considered that offer. But right now, Mina is going absolutely nowhere, bro. And we've also had uh, Wolfsburg offer Omar Mamouche plus 50 million. Who the hell is Omar Mamouche? 26-year-old striker, 79 overall at club since. You are not getting Ronaldo for Omar Mamouche plus 50 million. Get out of here. Get out! Get out! Get out! Mina, we're also rejecting that offer because this Mina's market value is between 43 and 63 million. Get out of here with that. And I love Mina. He's one of our best players. Going nowhere. West Ham want Ronaldo for 79 million. Get out of here, lad. We've only just got him ourselves. Deadline day's over now, but we've had a transfer offer for a Bamiyang, 36 years old, 75 overall, and his market value is 8 million. We've had a transfer offer for 8.1 million, um, so that might just be one that we just go ahead and, and accept. You know, he's not getting the squad anymore. Should we get just 8 million for him? Let's go for it. Next game anyway, boys, is against Tottenham Hotspur. They have just signed Florian Verts. We've spoke about them a little bit. 35 points there on. Let's see where that puts them in the league. Only ninth, so... They definitely have some improvement to do, Spurs, but that signing of Verts could be the push that they need. Let's see, is he going to start against us? He sure is in the midfield alongside Isco, with Rashford, Reina and Oshimen up front. Diego Carlos, Romero, Van Dijk at the back. That's an insane team right there, and they're only ninth in the league. We've gone back to our usual 5 uh, or 4 4 1 1 formation, I should say, with the usual faces here and there. Um, and we might see an appearance from Franck Ribéry in this game. Let's find out. Can't believe these aren't Rashford as well. I was looking at Rashford because I'm sure he was only like 45 million or something. And I was like, that's a great option to can play left mid slash left wing or striker. Rashford would have been great to have, but he's gone to Tottenham Hotspur and he stinks anyway. Hashimoto with the interception. Let's have a quick start here. Compared to last game, it could be a quick start. It's going to be tough to get the best of these three centre-backs, though. Three great players. Uh, Diego Carlos, Van Dijk, and um, Romero. That's an insane partnership at the back. Well then, Theon. What are you doing, Theon? What are you doing, Theon? Oh, what a save, Chesney. Oh no, Masaki is just so good, bro. Here's Rebager. Inside Elliot. Five back formations are my absolute kryptonite. 
Victor Ozimhen. Promising move from Tottenham, but the danger averted for now. Nice switch to the play to Theon there, played out to the press. Ronaldo. Lee. Ronaldo and Lee looking for link up here. We've got space in the middle. There's Elliot. Trying to beat Romero. Solid at the back, man. Oh, Osserman's absolutely turned. Canales there. Broke his ankles. Theon, huge tackle though. Theon Greyjoy, man. What a player. I haven't spoken about Theon much this season, but he's been insane. And here he goes down the wing. Are we going to have Ronaldo in the middle? Can he be Van Dyke? Inside. No, we can't. Van Dyke. Oh, what a brick shit house. Insane pass. Where the hell did he come from? He just ran on from the crowd. No way, no way. Oh, great goal from Tottenham there. Just couldn't do anything about that. That number 24 from right wing back, I was like, I thought that pass would just went straight out of play for a throw in. No idea where the wing back came from. But Oshimen, I said in the build up, what a player he is. Just couldn't block the shot in time. Great strike, top of the net. No one saving that. Wow, what a player he is. This team that Tottenham have built here is special, bro. And that's why it's offside. What a tackle that was from Hashimoto, but it still made it through to Oshimen. Ridiculous. That's a ridiculous pass. How did that pass make it through? I've nailed him. Has he done it as well? Oh, boys, what an episode this is. We're getting torn apart. Absolutely embarrassed. If this is your first time watching an RDC World career mode video, I, I was going to say this isn't how we normally play, but it is, boys, isn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> Get used to seeing us getting torn apart. We have minus five goal difference in the league, bro. <laughs> Lee, looking for a ball over the top, it's ambitious. Van Persie! Oh, off the post, no way, lad. What a strike that was as well. Oh, that's a perfect running behind from Ronaldo. Great pass from Lee, and the volley just not... Oh, bro, we had to score that. We had to score that. Oh, no way. Come on, Rashford. You want a foot race? I've got 87 pace. Oh, well in, Antonio Silva. Antonio Silva, he gets out of position sometimes, yeah, but... He has recovery pace like I've never seen before. Oh, Oshimen, Hattrick, what a save, Chesney. Oh, this team is just pressing me so hard. We're finding gaps, though, boys. We've got a chance. We just need a big second half here. I might make us some early subs. I feel like Lee's not offered us anything on the left, so I'm going to bring on um, Andreas or Tommy Bailey. That's a tough one. Tommy Bailey's like a late sub to get a winner. So I think instead I'm going to take off Elliot, um, actually. And I'm going to bring... This is completely off what I was about to do. I'm going to bring on uh, Ribery right there in the, the centre-forward spot. See what he can do. That might be a bad sub because we don't know his skill sets. We don't know what he's like. His passing is low. But let's do it anyway. Well, they've got things going again here. here he is. He looks so small in game. Well in Rebiger, come on. This is it. Ribery. Hashimoto. Back to Ribery. Ribery from outside the box. What a strike! What a goal, son! Come on! We're right back in it, boys. What a hit that was from Frank Ribery. Yeah? What a player. He still needs a new haircut with his chicken nugget head. But, bro, what a goal that is. I don't even know who that keeper is. Yeah, who the hell is that? That shirt is tight, bro. That is tight. But, yo... Great spacing, great touch, and that shot is insane. The technique on that, the kill. Keeper had no chance. Let's go. I said it was risky bringing him on, but let's go. Never doubt my tactics. I am Jose Mourinho. Oi, referee. Referee. Yellow card for Florian Verts. Now it is time for another substitution. Ono is quite tired. So on the right wing, we are going to bring on Tommy Bailey. And on the left wing, we are going to bring on Andreas. Um, and let's see how that goes. Should we take off Hashimoto for Juric? I feel like we need another 10 minutes of Hashimoto because he's been that good this game. Um, yeah, for now, we're just going to swap wingers. Let's go. Here it is. Let's get Andreas on the ball early. And he's played the ball through to Ronaldo. I'm just going to strike it from range with him. Off the bar! No way! Oh, I saw the keeper off his line there. And I thought about that ribbery shot. I thought, you know what? Let me just hit it. Bro, we need to just start shooting more, I think. That's what we lack in our games, just shots. Just start hitting it from anywhere, lad, and it might just go in with these keepers. We've hit the post and the bar now. This just isn't fair. Well, in Andreas. Instant impact off the bench. Andreas on the left wing. Tommy Bailey now. 
I told you, this guy, he loves a late winner. He loves a late winner. Tommy Bailey's in behind. Win that, lad. Oh, unlucky, boys. Unlucky. Come on, boys. Keep pushing. Yeah, keep pushing. This is us. This is us. Let's do it. Insane pass. I've got to track this. That's an insane pass, keeper. That's ridiculous, CA. That is ridiculous. And any chance we had to get him back in the game just screwed away. Because they're fucking so hard to defend against, lad. The AI is ridiculous, bro. Lad, they just not... Oh, lad, any way you try and defend them, they just have another way to get past it. And the keeper just no help at all again. Well in, Theon. Come on. We've got to play quick here. We have to play quick here. And Robin looking for a through ball. Just too much power on it. Oh, lad. Just... Oh, we hit the post on the bar as well. That's so unlucky, this game. We... Hey, this Robin is a fucking beast. But, um, yeah, man, this is so unlucky, this game. Uh, full time, boys, we lost 3-1 to Tottenham. The AI are ridiculous. I know I made some mistakes, but still, regardless, the AI are insane. And we got so unlucky hitting the post and the bar. Um, at least we know Ribery's regen is a great player now and a great option to come in off the bench. But, boys, with that being said, um, I'm going to leave this episode here, I think. I need a break, bro. I know we've only played two games in this episode, but we did have the comments at the start and then deadline day. So I'm going to leave this episode here because I really need a break from um, FIFA. But the next episode will contain a lot more games. I do promise you that uh, we should have four games in the next episode. Let's see. We'll play Southampton um, and West Ham. Then we play Southampton again in the Cup. So that'll be a huge one. That's the round of 16 of the FA Cup. That'll be a massive game to look forward to in the next episode, boys. If you did enjoy this one, like, comment, share and subscribe. You know the vibes. And I will catch you next time. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.